Let's study chemistry together with CBSE Chemistry Tips and Tricks. The time required for 10 percentage completion of a first order reaction at 298 Kelvin is equal to that required for its 25 percentage completion at 308 Kelvin. If the value of A is 4 into 10 raised to 10 second inverse, calculate K. At three one eight Kelvin and activation energy. See here, you have to find rate constant and activation energy. For finding activation energy in a question where two temperature are mentioned, you can see three zero eight and two ninety eight. Two temperature are mentioned, right? You know which equation you have to use. What is equation log? K two by K one is equal to E A by two point three not three R into one by T one minus one by T two. See, this is how you can find E A value if two temperatures are given. Correct, right? Okay. Now we can check how to find K two by K one. For that purpose, we can consider two separate cases. Case one, ten percentage completion and temperature is at what? 298 kelvin now case 2 case 2 is what case 2 is 25 percentage completion case 2 25 percentage completion and temperature is 308 kelvin correct right now what is the equation for rate constant for first order reaction it is for 298 so we can write k298 it is what 2.303 by t1 Log R zero by R, correct. Now see the completion is given in percentage, ten percentage completion. So you can take initial concentration as what, hundred, right? Now what is present concentration? Ten percentage completion means what is left? Hundred minus ten that is ninety, correct? So you can write like what? K two ninety eight is equal to two point three not three by T one. Log hundred by ninety. Correct. Got it right. Okay. Now ten by nine. You have to find the log. So K two ninety eight is equal to two point three not three by T one. Log ten by nine. You have to calculate. On calculating, you will get zero point zero four five eight. Okay. Now, what is equation for T one? T one is equal to two point three not three into zero point zero four five eight by K into two ninety eight. Correct, right? So T one is equal to you have to multiply two point three not three into zero point zero four five eight. You will be getting zero point one zero five five by K into 290. Sorry, K at 298 Kelvin. Clear. Similarly, you can find K for case two, K 308 Kelvin. Okay, so 2.303 by T2 log. See here, 25 percentage completion, right? So initial concentration is 100. Final concentration, 25 percent completion means 100 minus 25, that is 75. Got it right? So what is that? T two is equal to two point three not three by K three zero eight log. So you can cut this with twenty five four by three. Okay, log four by three. Correct. So T two is equal to two point three not three by K three zero eight. Okay, at three zero eight log four by three is what? Z on calculating. Uh, log four by three on calculating you will get. Zero point one two five. Okay, that we can do in next step. K two is equal to two point three not three into log four by three. You will get zero point one two five. Okay, by K three zero eight. So what is T two? On calculating that, you will be getting like zero point two eight seven nine by K at three zero eight Kelvin. Clear. So we find T one and T two. Now check. See, as per the question, these two time are same. The time required for ten percentage completion at this temperature is equal to 
time required for 25 percentage completion at 308 kelvin so t1 and t2 are equal as per the question right so equate t1 equal to t2 equate t1 equal to t2 as per the question t1 equal to t2 right so you can write like what 0 0.1055 by k298 is equal to 0 0.2879 by k at 308 kelvin correct so you can write like k 308 by k 298 is equal to 0 0.2879 by 0 0.1055 on dividing you will get 2.7289 okay so we got the ratio of k2 by k1 correct now what is our task our task is to find ea how to find ea direct right log k2 by k1 is equal to ea by 2.303r into 1 by t1 minus 1 by t2 all values you know log k2 by k1 you know what is that 2.7289 ea is the unknown 2.303 what is r r is 8.314 temperature t1 what is temperature t1 see it is 298 minus 1 by 308 correct now log 2.7289 value is 0 0.4360 ea by 2.303 into 8.314 into 308 minus 298 on subtracting you will be getting 10 then 298 into 308 correct so the only unknown is ea see further simplifying you please do by yourself because only unknown is ea and on uh, calculating you will be getting like 76623 joule per mole and if you want answer in kilojoule divide this with 1000 so 76.623 kilojoule per mole hope all of you understand now one more task is there you have to find rate constant k right okay right see the log form of adenius equation what is that log k is equal to log a minus ea by 2.303 rt see you must know the log form of uh, hadinius equation okay now what we are supposed to find k right substitute all other values log a value is directly given in the question 4 into 10 raised to 10 okay minus ea we just now find ea 7623 right 7623 by 2.303 r 8.314 and you are supposed to find uh, the k value at which temperature 318 kelvin okay so on simplifying you will be getting see finding log of this you will be getting 10.6021 minus on calculating all these things you will be getting like 12.58 okay so it is like on subtracting minus 1.9822 okay so how to find k take anti log of what minus 1.9822 you have to calculate it by yourself you will be getting like 1.042 into 10 raised to minus 2 as it is first order reaction unit is second inverse hope all of you understand it is lengthy but not difficult.